Hello, how are you? You saw the title of the video, so let's not dilly dally. Today I'm ranking the death battle champion pole matchups and how much I like the ideas. I thought this would be a quick fun video to make and also because I know how much people love when I give my opinions on death battle content. Like it said, if you actually enjoyed the video and without further ado, let's uh, get to it. Honestly, I have no bad things to say about this idea because doing that is equal to picking on your elders. Captain America is just such a great character and Ichigo himself being the first rep of Kamen Rider as a whole makes this idea even cooler. Like, the first Kamen Rider, as the first Kamen Rider episode, is just peak fiction. And the debate itself is pretty neato. I'm gonna be blunt too, if the poll wasn't walled off to basically people who were grandfathered in, this probably would've won. Because the Kamen Rider fandom was going bananas when they saw this. Also, their slogan is just infinitely more badass. Hashtag bring grandpa home! S tier. Damn, we really went from peak to piss in a matter of seconds. An overused joke that got overhyped by one fan animation. Which, I'm not gonna lie, that little animation, pretty good. I like your content, Larry. As a slot on the poll, it was flat out unnecessary. Because you know damn well as I do that Death Metal is gonna do this at some point, so there's no point in it being here. Feels more like a placeholder idea instead of an actual attempt of getting an interesting idea out there. Like, why not Travis vs. Scott or a Baki idea? Or if you wanted to pick a matchup with similar status, fucking Whitebeard vs. Eskinor is right there. Easy F tier, dude. Alright, alright, I know a lot of people praise the hell out of this idea. Like, to an unhealthy degree. I get it. People love Gurren Lagann, and I personally love the Lanterns. And the fight itself would be pretty cool, because it would just literally be a universe-sized mech versus a universe-sized mech construct. But I've never really had the biggest investment in this matchup. It never really stuck with me compared to others. Probably because those others were really, really fucking obnoxious about it. I swear to god, bro, Death Metal fans will pick one matchup and make it their whole personality. But Kyle vs. Simone, I don't really have a strong liking towards. But I also don't hate it either. In fact, I think it's a pretty good neutral party for me so uh, I'll put it in B tier again I don't have any opinion on this matchup I'm not a fan of either series but for an indie idea it seems pretty I right. apparently one of the staff members behind the scenes was hard pushing for this matchup since 2017 doesn't affect my stance on it but I always find that stuff like that to be very interesting so um C tier this matchup is awesome two of Cartoon Network's biggest duos of the modern era fighting each other just works also, the general parallels between the four is insane. A blue palette colored dude who sucks with chicks and comes off as a massive simp at times, with a lazy but wacky animal sidekick who more times than not gets them into all sorts of shenanigans. I grew up with both of these shows, so I hold both of these to high regards. But even then, you don't need much for someone to say, yeah, this matchup is peak. A tier. I've already given my stance on Bill vs. Discord. If you want a full review, watch this video, link below. But to do a TLDR, don't care about the matchup, but the episode slaps S tier. Now let's move on to the 3D poll. Again, I've already covered Cole vs. Alex in the ranking video, but I got a rant here because this matchup being on here was the biggest rigging I've ever seen. Yes, let's put the matchup that is glazed constantly by people within our servers on a poll that is only accessible by said server. Hmm. It's really funny how people were gassing this idea for when it got revealed for the polls, when it's not even that interesting. It's not even a terrible matchup. In fact, I agree with people when they say it should have happened back in season 8, aka the anniversary season, aka where it would have made the most sense. But to say this matchup has a better, more interesting fight potential and thematics than the other four ideas here, you are lying to yourself. Also, if this poll was public, this shit would have been dead last, easily. TLDR, it's mid and it was rigged. D tier. I'm not gonna lie, I fell off this matchup. Not that I hate it, it's more so I've grown away from it due to Kratos having other ideas I like as much. The matchup is still cool, I'm glad Ostra's Wrath has had a bit of a resurgence in recent years. Kratos is one of my favorite video game characters, and a run back of the God of War would be very much warranted. The problem is though, no matter how much you try and deny it, it's a scale issue. Even with the Titans within the Norse games, they don't even come remotely close to reaching Ostra levels of ridiculousness. Which is probably why my love for the idea has steered away more recently. I'll put it in B tier. Hard pills to swallow. Minecraft story mode fucking sucks. I've gushed about how much I love all of Steve's pairings, yet Emmett was a pleasant surprise. But no matter what idea you pick for Steve, whether it be Jonesy, Terrarian, or Emmett, they all go hard regardless. But Emmett to me has always been one of the most unique options. If you're gonna do a Lego versus Minecraft idea, doing the two icons of said brand just makes the most sense. You can say Emmett isn't the icon of Lego as a whole, but considering he's a Lego City civilian, the first 
first line of Lego's history, and the Lego movie having a very big cultural impact on Lego itself, you can't really say Jesse would fit better than Steve for that pairing. Also, I love the idea of an analysis for them talking about how Lego and Minecraft were both solid game changers in the toy and game industry, to them going through multiple forms of hardships and drop-offs in sales and relevancy, to having two of the biggest comebacks in their respective industries. Do I need to say more? This is an easy fucking S tier. Man, we really got cucked out of Alduin versus Deathwing for this. They should have just double dipped. I'll say this, a kaiju dragon fight could be cool, and the presence of these two would go extremely hard. But that isn't enough to sell me. It's only thematic if you use a specific version of Ghidorah, because Ghidorah's origins differ greatly in each timeline. You'd probably just have to use Showa or Monsterverse, which even then, Deathwing is getting folded about as badly as he would if he fought Alduin. But at that point, just do Alduin. He has the same potential and better connections with Deathwing. The World Eater versus the World Breaker. Not to mention it being an Elder Scrolls versus World of Warcraft matchup, and it being two of the most well-known dragons in all of Western RPGs fighting each other. I mean, come on, man. What else do I need to say about that? Bit of a tangent, but you get my point. C tier. Again, I've gone over this idea a dozen times now, it's a cool ass fight, and Spy getting to fight another secret agent who can bounce off his kit will always be superior. It's still crazy to me how much TF2 was pushing the balance, because for two weeks straight, the top five matchups were dominated by TF2 ideas, which is based, and I love that. Also, shout out to DJ Tiki for explaining this idea in further details, you a real one. Anyways, if this fight happens, I better see a flying briefcase and Spy getting bitch slapped by a Fugu fish, or it's a 0 out of 10 for me. S tier. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, this matchup fucking sucks. It's thematic, sure, but it's dynamic as complete ass cheeks. But, um, Anne has nothing else, and the only good thing about it is that she wins the matchup, so, C tier. Hey, look, it's the matchup that grossly misrepresents both characters in series. By the way, if you want to do an autism test on someone, ask if they like Danganronpa or not, F tier. Don't have anything to say about this idea. Love Shulk, don't know anything about Lightning. But, she seems cool. B tier. <laughs> Okay, we knew this idea was going to be on here, but Jesus Christ, week two. Anyways, it's a fun as fuck idea. Uh, screw Mega Mind 2, A tier. Another mythology idea would be cool. I'm glad that this got on the poll. Not much else I need to say here. A tier. I'm neutral on this one. I know Joe has pushed more for Evo, but I don't know jack about Joe, so B tier. Fun. Just f a fun matchup. The Peacemaker show is also peak fiction. A tier. Says a lot that I forgot this matchup was even on here. D tier. Yeah, despite me somewhat hard pushing this idea, I don't really have a big connection to it. I only wanted it to win over the dog shit comp idea, and just to see people squirm and cry over a Sailor Moon idea that isn't Seiya winning. By the way, Moon vs. Seiya sucks ass and people who push it don't know anything about Saya. C tier. Give me my goddamn scorpion run back you mongoloids. I want more souls content too. S tier. In a non research fight it seems like a cool interaction but holy shit it is awful in a death battle setting. Honestly these three matches can be summed up with this image alone. F tier. This idea is okay. There's not much to it but it's a glowy sword fight and that's all I really need. Side note, it's still absurd what people were willing to do to make this idea seem fair. <laughs> B tier. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. It's crazy how the Versus community has done more with Sackboy than Sony has. That's rough, buddy. Anyways, peak matchup, S tier. End of lightning round. It's pretty nuts that they haven't done this one yet. I mean, I get their hesitation because of the type of cartoons they are, and Liam, I believe, has also said he's unsure if Death Battle can stay true to both shows. But come on, you know for a fact it's because of the stagnation of both shows. But that's besides the point. For me, it's a fun cartoon fight. Family Guy will always be a good show, regardless of its quality in the recent years. And I don't care about The Simpsons, but I do love Homer. So, overall, B tier. <laughs> Jimmy vs. Dexter getting on the pole made me so hype. I knew it was gonna win, especially with the other matchups on here, but this matchup will always be THE cartoon fight. The boy geniuses of CN and Nick duking it out sounds awesome. Like, you cannot tell me they are a cooler cartoon pairing than these two. So you can take your Star vs. Steven and fucking shove it. S tier. Dog, why the fuck is this even on here? We know you guys are gonna do this at some point anyways. I guess they just needed a filler episode? You know, cause it's not like they had hundreds of other ideas to choose from. Anyway, I don't really care about this matchup, but I have no disdain towards it either. So, uh, C tier. Oh! 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 We could have had a Yokai Watch matchup here instead, but nah, we got the worst possible option for Grovile. Pokemon fans are a whole nother breed in this community, man. I swear to God. F tier. <laughs> 
Ooh, I'll give you such a pit. All I really have to say here, A tier. This idea is just cool. I'm not a big fan of Percy Jackson. I never grew up with the books or even the movies for that matter. But Percy always felt like a deserved character on Death Battle. Kind of like Harry Potter or Luke Skywalker. And I love Hades. It's a great roguelike. And while I do like Pit vs. Zagreus too, not to the hyperfixation extent as others have it, I can't really say I'm aching for a Pit run back, especially when Percy offers similar value to Zagreus as Pit does. Also, it's pretty thematic too, like Pit. So, I have no qualms with this. A tier. Oh, look, another matchup that doesn't work fight wise and only really exists because game like worlds and people say Travis vs. Scott is bad. F tier. <coughs> Death battle! Do this matchup, and my life is yours! <laughs> Listen, that may seem like a bit of an over-exaggeration, but considering the fact that I've been waiting since 5th fucking grade for them to do this idea, I'm kind of willing to sacrifice anything here to get them to even do this idea. S tier. As much as I would love a Godzilla run back and an episode that actually delves into Hulk and Banner's characters and interactions between each other, Hulk vs. Broly. I'll say this, as a matchup, it's peak, no questions asked. And for those who complain about the size difference, y'all are acting as if Hulk has never fought a giant like Godzilla before. The idea is an easy S tier, but as a death battle and what they did the Hulk last time, nah. Instead, I'll put it in A tier. Holy shit, it's the good Star Wars idea. I'll echo the same thing I said about Naruto vs. Luffy. They're gonna do this at some point. This was not a matter of if, it's a matter of when they do it. It's the same vein as Vader vs. Obito. It's an idea that literally everyone in the community can find common ground on regardless if you're a casual enjoyer or a super nutso butso fan like myself. When it's DVX was more loved than a full episode in the same year, you know you're cooking. All I'm gonna say is, Death Metal, please go all out with this episode. That is my only request with this. S tier. Don't care. I literally do not care about this matchup in the slightest. I don't care about The Walking Dead outside of like Negan because he's actually entertaining and I don't give a fuck about The Last of Us. C tier. You wanna know what's the funniest shit about Pennywise and versus debates like Freddy? None of his ideas work. Since P-Wise's powers rely heavily on what he's terrorizing to fear him, literally none of his ideas work. Also, Freddy just has infinitely better ideas. F tier. S tier. What else do I need to say about this idea that hasn't been said? It's a great fight, more He-Man on the show is what we need, and the banter would be the cheesiest 80s shit imaginable. Also, the amount of passion they have towards this idea makes me believe this will be probably one of the best episodes in the entire series. Putting it anywhere below S just makes me feel dirty on the inside. This idea is eh to me. At least it wasn't Frisk versus Ness. Sans I think would be fun to have on the show, but Pablo I know very little about to where I could say I'm giddy over this idea. I think it'll be neat when it does happen, but I'm not going to sit here and say I'm salivating at the mouth for this idea. B tier. I think this idea had an opposite effect on me that Kyle versus Simone had. I used to not really like this idea a whole lot, but as time went on and more stuff was found for both Grinch and Jack, I started to really enjoy this matchup. It just had a nice vibe to it. Both surprisingly have a lot of stuff that you can use outside of the movies, and come on, both movies are great. They can even make the fight similar to Wukong vs. Hercules with a narrator in the background. I think that would just be peak fiction. A tier. And that is going to be it. Let me know what you guys think of my rankings, and let me know your rankings for the ballot banters and the Tournament of Champions. If you actually enjoyed the video, make sure to like, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.